We used to make these great linear campaign shooters, and what we wanted to do with Destiny was create a living world. We are ready to jump into the Trials of Osiris. This place is so cool. By being a live game, we can experiment with things, we can try new things. Bungie listens. They're picking the good maps. We believe that players want a world that they can check into, a world that invites them to come back and check something out that wasn't there before. And we want to be a living game. We want it to be a hobby. And the live team is a reflection of Bungie's commitment to doing that. High five. Yeah, all right. The live team has been in charge of doing everything from playlists to weekly patches to Iron Banner rollouts and Trials of Osiris. This is crazy. Oh, there's loot, guys. There's we want to bring in more quest lines, more stuff to do, more stuff to chase, more loot items, more guns, more gear. What I like as a player is that when I come into the world and there's an event going on, the world's a really different place. That makes the world feel alive and it's just a more fun place to be in. What we want to create is an engaged audience that wants to keep coming back and that your friends, your social network is part of what's like pulling you back into the world. We have a wonderfully connected community and that's something that makes Destiny just kind of magical, honestly. Look at this! This is so f***ing cool! This is amazing! I love it! You trolls, Bungie! Oh, look at that! She's got... Oh, she has a Grota mask! Oh my god! We had looked at the tower and the social experience and said, why don't we have awesome holidays? Like, why don't we build on that jack o -light Halloween experience from last year and do something bigger? Story, cutscene, missions with mask on is freaking hilarious. We want to create these community lightning rods of things that people are doing together. If players are responding really well to them, like that's what we want to build more of. World events for the live game is a way for us to introduce new concepts to the players. Sparrow Racing has been on a lot of people's minds for a long time. Sparrow Racing is like our first experiment with how do we build something that the community can actually have a hand in its future fate. Being able to spin up Sparrow Racing, I think, is a really great example of an idea that pops up and foments from the community. We're able to take it and deliver it. If people love it, awesome. We can continue building on it and making it better. If people don't like it, we can get feedback on it and bring it back, or just decide to scrap it and put our time and energy and our people on something else. Sparrow Racing is a three-week event that is hosted by Amanda Holiday, and it's available to all players of The Taken King. Speed kills, but it's a fun way to go. You're hauling ass through the desert, and you want things to be aerodynamic, so we have dyeable suits. We have branded suits with Sparrow Racing logos. We have suits with little bits sticking off of it, and then color-coded suits that match paint jobs on the Sparrows. We take a similar approach with the Sparrow. We have the one base model, which is the core industrial design of it, and then we have variations of that. You could wear exotics. You could wear your raid gear. You could have masks from Festival of the Lost. You can do whatever you want. Sparrow Racing is a six-player free-for-all death race through enemy territory. Gotta be fast and fearless if you want to win these races. We have two race courses, one on Venus and one on Mars. Campus Martius is a circuit through the buried city on Mars. Mars is our easy track, and the Venus one is our more advanced track. Venus is called the Infinite Descent because you're always going downhill, and at the end you hit a teleporter and it brings you back to the top of the level. In Venus, there's a ton of shortcuts. You can shortcut through a waterfall, jump over an entire turn, and then land right on a boost gate and take off. Nobody's really going to have a better Sparrow than anybody else. It's really about your performance on the track. The main skill that you will need is based off of you and how you drive. Boosting at the right time. Braking at the right time. Map knowledge is important. Knowing the race course is important. 
more gates you miss, the slower you'll go. The more gates you hit, the faster you'll go. Main things you can do to upset your opponent is you push them out of the gate, you push them into fans, cause them to explode. Whatever you can do to make sure that you are the only one hitting the gate so that you get the boost and you end up taking the lead. You're gonna see with Sparrow Racing something you haven't seen before. And if you like that, let us know. And for sure, you will see more coming. I remember the old days when it was just a sparrow and a flat stretch of land. A lot different now.